today's local artist spotlight is featuring the art of Reverend Bobby L. Simmons, Sr. Bobby lives in Garland, and he was an art teacher for 30 years. Uh, part of that here in Sampson County. So we're so excited to have Mr. Bobby Simmons here with us today. And um, Bobby, just tell us a little bit about yourself and, and maybe some of your art background. Okay, I, uh, I was here in Clinton for about five years at Butler Avenue School and traveled all around looking at various types of art. Right. So um, what I have here is the work of art that I've done over, I guess, uh, what, 40 years, I guess I can say 40 years. My first uh, art project was my principal when I was in the uh, seventh grade. Oh, and I drew him and painted him and, I, and uh, he liked it. So I, I gave it to him. Right. And uh, the next uh, project was uh, when I was in the, uh, working in the prison system. Okay. And uh, the prison system here in Clinton. And uh, they, was, uh, they had some drawers and artists in there that were great. I mean, they were great work. And uh, from there, I decided to go into my own uh, type of art. My first one was about 48 by 52. Wow. And I did a lot of uh, work for Jack and Jackson. Now, um, I'm just carelessly or friendly or emotionally involved in art because uh, I try to do one painting about, take three days to do one painting and uh, add all of the, the lines and stripes and all of the colors in primary and secondary colors and uh, tend to just look at the art and try to feel it and make it real right. is what I, I, I would like to do. Right. Uh, even uh, I don't have any of my uh, art that uh, could be primarily uh, fantasy or something of that nature, uh, even though I've sold a lot right. of that. Right. I went to school at East Carolina University, and uh, my senior year in art was really great, and uh, I put up the paintings, and people wanted them so bad, so I said, well, you, when I finish with them, you can, you know, have them, but not thoroughly thinking about selling them, so I just gave them away. And uh, now I'm doing the painting because I have nothing else to do. Right. <laughs> I'm retired. <laughs> <You're tired. laughs> but uh, I I got a church in in, uh, in White Lake, uh, North Carolina, North Carolina, and uh, been preaching there. And I also have retired from preaching. <laughs> so uh, my wife and I have been together for about 48 years, and uh, we've been married for 43 years. Okay. And so the Lord has truly blessed us uh, in that packet. But uh, we, we go, we pray, and we, we lead folk to Jesus, and we do all of that. And uh, now the church is growing. And uh, people like it, and they like what is being said and done. I have a uh, uh, another per person who's a preacher. That's my wife, Reverend Pia Jessup, and she's really uh, good in her speaking and, and bringing forth the word of God. And so we we get together and we just share, and that sharing it has become uh, part of my artwork to share, you know. So uh, some of these are already sold and uh, some are not. Uh, the one with the building in the back is, uh, has been sold and the one with the uh, uh, fruit and watermelon, that has been sold. Gosh, and so, uh, you know, it's just a, 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 a just waiting and just giving and doing things to kind of make you uh, come up to date and, and so forth. 
I love uh, realism, but I like to add a little bit of uh, abstract and some of uh, the work that other artists would use in their work to make it more vivid. Right. Make it more vivid. And so I, I, I like to do things like that. I've, I've seen other artists uh, and seen their work and I can, you know, say, hey, uh, why did you do it that way? Why did you, you know, but that's the way they did it and, and that's, the, that's the outcome. Uh, so it's a, it's a good time to paint, to draw, and to let your life just feel free. <laughs> <laughs> and tell us about the, uh, the, cal the calendar that you have oh, with yes, you today. This, this calendar that was is the first time I've ever thought about going into uh, using my work uh, to make calendars. Uh, this is the first time. And we did a hundred of these yeah. and sold every one. That's great. And they're still asking for some more. Good. But I, I'm not going to do any more. I'll probably wait till 22 or 23, yeah. something like that. So uh, these are some of the works of this calendar. And most of them you find buildings in the work. Uh, I think I have this one out. Oh, yes, right mm -hmm. there. Right. Yeah. And uh, some of the uh, work that I, I, I thought about, I have this one, I love this. I, I really love this one. Yeah, that's I really love it. And I have this at home, and I uh, don't mat it or anything like that. I think I'm going to stick it on my wall. <laughs> <laughs> but these are some of the, the works that I have, and this is the one uh, with the uh, uh, people out in the field. But I said, guys, they're out in the field, and what are they doing? Right. And I said, what if, why not cock? Let's go ahead and put that in. So I put that in, and this one over here, and it's showing them working in the field. Now, personally, I think art is a grand factor to develop. But personally, I think it's, it comes to everybody's emotions what they would like to do and uh, what they want to draw or see. And so we, we try to fold in all of that and make it become realistic. Right. <laughs> <laughs> would you like to, maybe we could walk around and you can tell us a little bit about some of all these pieces that you brought today? Yes, uh, now this one is dealing with uh, a mother and child. I was thinking about Jesus and his mother, but then I got all into the content and I got to go back into that and do some more. Yeah. Add some more vibrant colors in it. Right. You know, is, is that done with uh, pastels? Pastel, also acrylic paint. Okay. And uh, markers. Marker. Uh -huh. And uh, that too. that's it. So like I, I use. Media. I use both uh, oil and pastel uh, chalk okay. to get some of that into the work. I like the texture. Right, mm -hmm. right. So I got to bring some more textures in to make it more realistic. Uh, this one is finished. I think that it, it, it really promotes realism in this value. I started out with the green all over, then with the blue. And then came back in here with the red or reddish type of work. And just let those lines just bring out the feeling that a person would have about their home. Now this is uh, one that has been uh, uh, there for a long time, but yet you see the holes in it, the rain coming in it, and you see the different colors in, in there. So I try to bring that out. Now the worst thing to do is to bring in shading. <laughs> I have a problem with shading because I don't know where the light gonna be on this side or is it gonna be on that side. Right. But I got some of it in there, yeah. so I, I kind of like the way it's done. Yeah. This one is fantasy. Fantasy. 
this is another one that I've done that I, I don't want to sell. It's beautiful. But it's the first one I've done wow. with trees and yeah, the water that. and the land and try to get everything to be developed and find it, its way within the realistic value. This would probably probably be a fantasy. Fantasy I like the textures in that one too. Yeah. The water and the It makes it trees. speak. It speaks a lot of texture. This is one that is whew, about two or three years old. And it's a landscape. But in the landscape, you can't get everything in that you want to get in. Right. So you kind of develop it in a way where it looks like you're going in. It looks like trees. But it's not. <laughs> but the landscape, as you see, the uh, seascape, the area, the one you want to get here, and then here you want to get land. And, uh, so yeah, so you did the it that way. Of that one. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Really interesting. Now, this one is dealing with fruit. This is, I did the fruit first, and I didn't know what to put in the background because it was too close. I could have put it on the table and said, that's it. But I put these buildings back here to reflect that there's somebody there who's, who's going to come out of there and work this. And then there's the sky to give it a, a more fantasy look. Give it a more fantasy look. This is realism. You got the grass, you got the house, or barn, and you got the sky. And that's the way my thinking was. And I said, no, let me go back in and add in some more colors in here. It had one color, which was brown, but I decided not to have brown, but go in and have a comp, uh, uh, where these colors would compete one to another and bring in the reality of life. And inside these windows, which are broken, you, you can put anything in it. Right. You know, but make it look realistic, that there's some realism in it. This one is definitely fantasy. Mm -hmm. I love the, uh, the way that the artist in a book that I'm reading, a book that has the lines drawn across, make it look like cloth. Yeah, it gives it the movement with mm -hmm. the waviness of right. the lines and how close and far apart they are. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the whole idea. But as I look at it now, I need to go back in and make it look more realistic. Go back in. I'm just following line yeah. over line over line. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. That's really fun. And but it's, it's, it's fun the way it is. But yeah. uh, we thank you know God for what He has done uh, to bring us this. I love the artist uh, Picasso, uh, the fantasy of Picasso, the uh, alignment of Salvador Dali, some of his strong points. And, uh, and other artists that I have been yeah, looking at still, over the years. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Okay, I believe we got all of them. Yeah. <laughs> you did such a great job. We are so thankful that you came out today on this beautiful February day. Who would have done? I'm glad <laughs> it would be I did. 65 degrees. <laughs> But um, we really love your work, Thank you. Bobby, and I'm so glad that um, you've gotten back in touch with the Arts Council mm -hmm. and you've moved back to Garland and we're glad to have you back in Sampson County and thank you for all that you do. You're more than welcome. <laughs> You're more than welcome. Uh, I'm thinking about having an art show uh, sometime down the road when uh, things are a little bit. Yeah. Simpler. Yeah. And um, we would do some art shows with other black artists and white artists.
whatever kind of artists they are. Right. But, you know, old and young. And uh, we just have a good time showing our work. And exactly. them showing their work. And that, I think that's what it's all about, isn't it? It is. <laughs> it's about sharing the art. And, uh, yes, we're excited to hopefully be opening the gallery back up again mm -hmm. and, and getting things going. And we look forward to having a show with you. Well, we'll be glad future. to come. We'll be glad to come. <laughs> yes, Thank sir. you. Thank you so much. All right. <laughs>